What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. So before we get to the topic of today, I just want to show you guys these awesome frog spawns that I got directly from Murphy's Aquatics tank. Yeah, these things are legit. Woo! Anyway, let's talk about, uh, take the filter off. Let's talk about the changes that I've made to my 75 gallon reef tank. There it is right there. This is not what it's going to look like when I'm done. I'm actually going to be showing you guys. I have some stuff that I'm going to be doing that I want to show you guys what it is that I'm doing. So anyway, dosing. Yes, anybody that knows me knows I do not get along well with technology. It's very hard for me to push myself to getting something that has to do with tech. I'm a low key guy. Uh, it took me four years to go from, you know, T5s to LEDs. Finally made that jump and I love it. And, you know, there's four people in particular that have always uh, poked fun at me or pushed me or told me to try it. And that's uh, Reefing with O, Murphy's Aquatics, Carlos, and Richmond Reefer. You guys pushed me to getting these. And thank you because I'm glad I did. This is definitely making things a lot easier. Anyway, show you guys what I have real quick and then we'll talk about what it is that I'm going to be doing to change them. So these are the Camor X1s. Right now I have them all piggybacked, which is really cool. And I do have the um, BRS slimline jugs or whatever they're called. They hold a little over a gallon. I'm probably going to get some nice looking stickers for them. I don't know. I'm not really worried about it. I just took some blue tape and marked them. So I am dosing alkalinity, calcium, and calcwasser. That was one of the deals when Murphy's Aquatics made his calcwasser video. I said, hey, if you make a calc video, I will start dosing it to my tank. So there you go. What I ended up doing was drilling it, getting the little bulkheads. And you can see that I have these little tubings here. For anybody that has the Kimura X1s, you guys know that these are extremely tiny. I believe they're three millimeter in di inside diameter and five millimeter outside diameter, so they're very tiny. So luckily I had some old silicone tubing laying around that I actually used as a coupling to go from the Kimura dosing line to actually an acrylic tube. And then on the other side, there is an acrylic tube that goes all the way down to the bottom. So, built a little shelf, mounted them up there. Really, really nice, super easy. The app for these things were ridiculously easy. Um, and I'm glad, especially Murphy's Aquatics, for pushing me to get these. So, then I ended up, you know, running my dosing lines and I made a little Corian dosing tubing holder, I guess you could say. And I like it, it works good. But I was like, you know what? Why did I have these running across where if I wanna do maintenance or something, I can't. So, and for anybody that does dose, sorry for this glare here, anybody that does dose, I noticed that when the soda ash dropped, you know, it gets all white and turns to like snowflakes in there, precipitates. So I put this little 100 gallon per hour pump that I had laying around and I actually have that set to my Wi-Fi surge protector so this little pump turns on a half an hour before any of them starts dosing and turns off a half an hour after it start it after it's done dosing so this way you know the soda ash the calcium and the calcwasser this way when it does drop into here it gets a good little good circulation I am going to be upgrading that to a little return or a power head I think I have a, um, an old high door, uh, 425 gallon per hour power head that I'm going to put in there. And I'm actually going to have the dose dosing lines dose directly on top of the power head. So that way as it's dosing, it's getting churned up and, you know, pushed around and then through the return pump and then up into the display. So I actually went to, um, the hidden reef today and I found this, right? You guys have probably seen these before. I don't know what brand this is. I have no idea. It was in a Ziploc bag. It was like 15 bucks and I'm like, you know what? I want to try it out. So this does fit over the trim of the tank, but the lines are like super close to here and I kind of wanted it to be out a little bit so that it, you know, that it dumps on top of the power head or in front of it. So that's the goal. So what I ended up doing is 
I took some old magnets and drilled a hole through them. And I did look inside. The magnet in here is uh, encased in plastic, but this is not going to be underwater anyway. This is going to be above the waterline. I'm actually going to set it above the waterline. So when my system turns off, the sump fills up to about here. If I look at it close enough, I'll, I can actually see the water line from when it rises and lowers. Um, so I'm going to have it set to that height. And since the tubing is really small and these are bigger lines, I'm actually going to take some old thin wall um, tubing. I believe, yeah, this is uh, 5 16th. Sorry, it's upside down. It's 5 16th tubing that I'm going to cut and put in here. So let me get that done and show you guys how the finished product looks. All right, so I'm all done. Definitely looks a lot better without the dosing lines coming way over here. To me at the time, I had the Corian left over for the baffles, so that's why I made this little thing. So it worked, worked for a week. It just slid on the baffle and that was that. But now I have this thing here. Works pretty cool, looks pretty good. I'm not worried about the magnets, how they look. I don't really care about that. If I really cared about how everything looks that much, I wouldn't have tape with, you know, it's whatever. It's DIY. So took somebody's acrylic DIY and kind of modded it a little bit, but I think it lo looks uh, like it's going to work for me better because, like I said, the dosing lines are going to be out more, so when they drop, they literally land on top of this and then gets churned up nicely. So, it's cool. I like it. Tell me what you guys think. I don't know. Works for me. So, yeah, I'm dosing now. Wish me luck. It's been running for uh, maybe eight days now, nine days, maybe ten. I don't know. Almost two weeks, I guess you could say. And the perimeters are right on point. Perfect which is pretty cool. So now as Dave's nano tank would say, my tank is ionically balanced. And that was the goal here. So thanks for watching everybody. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you on the next one. All right, I just wanna thank you guys again for stopping by. If you did like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And while you're here, hit that little crab icon to subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell for any future videos or updates. And in case you haven't seen these two videos, you might want to click on one and check it out. Again, thanks for stopping by.